news you bring. The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle sold off the wares he seized to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast, but I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. A valuable seal. And a riddle. One of the four is ours. One of the four. Rysie, Faravid, Odin, and... Your... The four members of the council. We should search their offices now, while they're occupied with the Yuletide feast. Yes. Yes. Come, to the archives. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. List what Jorvik needs for the Yuletide feast. Whose handwriting? Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Auton is a well-connected man. The room to the left. That is where the councilmen confer. I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Halfdan's army. Could be why Feravid is pressing the council for more silver. A wax seal, similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. This desk, it looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours. Scratch marks on the floor. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? Hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Got the door. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. <laughs> there was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. A load of wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. It may be the wine was poisoned. It is likely the wine for the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? Looks that way. It is not him, not Major. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hjor. Right now we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman amphitheater. Let us go. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. 
I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I'll speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even your? Even your. If he is the vault, I'll not allow him to kill all these people. Ljubina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Now, to speak to the council members. I'll speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. It may lead me to the vault. Fair of it. A word, if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I am selective with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ha! <laughs> if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. <laughs> What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. He has indeed. The high reeve of Jorvik has a bright future ahead if he keeps this up. Aldon, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin, and these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I'll fetch you some wine. Uh, no, 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 I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Sure, who is that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. He's someone on the council. You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it's important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I will have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bill. Of course. Rishia. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Audun was the one pushing for the feast from the start. He planned it, which means he would have had access to the wine. And he was helping Abbas Inkiborg collect Christian texts. She turned out to be the firebrand. Yes. Yes, you're right. And the wine? Of all the councilmen, he knew the wine had not yet arrived. When I offered some, he flat out refused, insisting it be saved for the guests. For these reasons, I think Audun is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords, men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on the day we honor you, we honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. I'll do as the vote. So like for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shh. 
shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilmen to safety. I will handle Alden. Go. This area is off limits. Attack the king! Alden, save these breasts. They What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants and priests and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Eivor! Over here! Cobra! Oh, they now reached us! Are you all right? We're fine. Faravud and his cars escorted King Richier back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Wakma! Go! Shit! Oh, conspiring right under our noses! And I'll kill him! I don't care! I want answers! Calm, Lord Rishie. Aldon is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. 
Ardun aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others, Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Evo? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Haft and Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Bjarmia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harald all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now. And the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Jor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind, so I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forgo the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I'll take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an ale. I know of a place down the street. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news.
Lucky it was me that found you. Me on a good day, I may add. Not me. I found him asleep beneath a tree. He's unharmed. My poor Bjarti. I'm so glad he's all right. You saved his life. Luck was with him. No hungry wolves or roaming bandits. The note he carries is helpful, but he must have more caution. He may not be so lucky the next time. You're right. I will wait until he wakes. And when he does... I will belt him! That is a start. Farewell. I can breathe again. You're all right. Those are the cries of a broken heart. Who died? My beloved cat, Sphinxy. And please, do not be so crass. Sphinxy has simply... passed on. She is in God's hands. Nothing hurts quite like a fresh wound. But in time, it will heal. And life will return to normal. Oh, if only. Instead, I find myself missing her more and more. With each passing winter. How long ago did Sphinxy pass on? Eleven years ago tomorrow. A long time, I know. <laughs> a little. Have you thought about honoring Sphinxy with a shrine? There's no burial, but it may ease your grief. I am halfway there, but I cannot bring myself to sort through her things. I simply do not have the strength. I will help you. We will build Sphinxy a shrine together. Where should I start? My home. It's where she... She... <laughs> There's something I can find in here for the cat's shrine. If I can sort through all the rubble. Sphinxy's belongings. <sighs> it is done. A shrine dedicated to Sphinxy. Whenever you care to pay your respects. And a home you can return to again. It may take some getting used to without Sphinxy. But her children need you. And here I thought all Danes were ruthless plunderers. Murderers. You have a soul that would grace the heavens. Light my sphinxy. Lord, light your way.
need to cloak myself here. My name is not Wolf, it's Broderick, and I told you to shut your flappers! Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday.
Something's not right. Have a look, Sunan. <gasps> the first man I killed for my order, I cried and wept after trying to hold back the tears. But I told myself, I am merely acting upon a foretold destiny, navigating the whim of greater gods. My actions are simply pebbles. Pebbles that wash away in the surf, as harmless as dust. Pebbles were once bedrock. As were you.
Fue Brigham Young Ward. 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 Mm-hmm. 